praise with everybody. Today I want to do a song cover about the song called Held, and it's about human trafficking. And I know you've probably heard of it, and um, Nellie Grant sung it uh, about 2005. At the time I was 21 years old, and I was held as a child sex slave because I'm the descendant of Mahalia Jackson. She's a great singer in 1950, if you haven't heard of her. I'm her great niece. And they captured me and held me in sex slavery. And they were selling my mixed babies because I'm mixed black and white because my um, her cousin married a white man and which was uh, had a, her daughter and then my mother who married a black man had me and I'm brown skinned but uh, um, I was born white and they sex trafficked me uh, the Ku Klux Klan so I'm fighting it, largest case in U.S. history and I know you know most of the people who say they wrote songs on Capital Christian music also called CCM are human traffickers the child sex traffickers and they're real devious, and they're not Christians, they're satanic, and they are occult. Most of them have those tattoos on their arms or their legs Im implicating it, but nobody pays attention because they like the song so much. And um, I know, they're really nice songs, but they're monsters. And they murdered a lot of people, I mean over hundreds. And there was trafficking people of the United Pentecostal Church International primarily, and other apostolic churches, so that's what we're fighting about. And they're mad as hell. And um, and I saw a lot of videos come down about people saying they wrote songs because of the case, and thank God for that. So, <laughs> we're definitely fighting it. But today I'm gonna to sing hell because they were ripping babies out my arms at eight years old when they injected me with um, serum to make me have children early, and they had men impregnating my body at eight years old. And I held my first son eight years old, and I breastfed him, and they took it out my arms, and then later on in my life, they took me to the black market where they were selling the babies in the state of Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia and I think Piedmont Hospital, Grady Hospital, uh, Northside Hospital, if you're familiar with Georgia, um, there are some of the babies at those different hospitals and even more, Crawford Long, Emory, all of them were involved. So it's a huge case. It's gonna be the largest case U.S. history, bring them down. The, they had me in chains at some of the band performances, but y'all were in the audience, you didn't see me because I was in the back chained up. And um, we're gonna bring those bitches down in Jesus' name. You know, I'm sorry to cuss, but it's the damn truth. So in Jesus' name, it's called held, okay? And it's from my, right from my heart. To my sis, too little. They let him go. They had no sudden healing. To think that Providence would take a child from his mother while she prays is appalling. Who asked us? We're asking, I'm sorry, why this happens to us who have died to live it's unfair this is what it is to be held how it feels when the sacred is torn from your life and you survive this is what it is to be loved and to know that the promise was when everything fell, we beheld. This hand is bitterness. We want to taste it. Let the hatred know our sorrows. The wise hand opens slowly to lilies of the valleys and tomorrow. This is what it is to be loved and to know that the promise was when everything fell, we beheld. This is what it means to be held, how it feels when the sacred is torn from your life and you survive this is what it is to be loved and to know that the promise was when everything fell we beheld thank you jesus i pray you have been encouraged by this version of my song because it is my song crystal nicole wells did not write it she is a child sex trafficker and um, U.S. Immigration Security is working with me to get justice and have her arrested and charged with serial killing for the murder of many different people and many other people on CCM are human traffickers so don't trust them. They don't write the songs they say. They just sign contracts and stuff like that and they're real murderers and they're monsters too and Brian Tawalt was one of the worst ones so and pray for you you pray for me in Jesus name. Amen.